Continuing 2019's lineup of awesome background characters from Cars 3, we have Vandon Kerr, or is it Vanden? I'm not quite sure. It might be a play on Brandon. But another weird thing about this guy is the fact that his die cast is a way different color than the picture. Regardless, though, welcome back to yet another review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Vandon or Vanden Kerr. So, let's get started. He appeared in the Cotter Pin in Cars 3. For those of you wondering, he was chatting it up with Bill Revs right over here. The back of the packaging. Friends of the late, great, fabulous Hudson Hornet gather at the Cotter Pin. You'd see Jenny Toland, Bill Revs. <laughs> Why did I forget this, guy name? this guy's name? Uh, Andrew Vrooman. And Smokey on the back. Interesting thing about Jenny, which I was going to bring up in my Kevin Ryvan review. Jenny Toland in the movie appears both at the Cotter Pin and in the Demolition Derby, so it's interesting. I'm not quite sure what they did with her diecast because I don't have Jenny yet. I'm not sure what series she's in. Maybe they stuck her into both. I don't know. This definitely doesn't help it out because I don't know where to put her in my display. Do I put her with the Cotter Pin cars? Do I put her with the Demolition Derby cars? Who knows? Let's get this guy out of the package. Pretty interesting, I'm not quite sure. And as long as you guys are staring at this background here, I'm probably gonna change this uh, pretty soon now that we have a new diecast packaging revealed, and I'll change up the pictures for all of these as well. Definitely I'll change the ones for 2016 with Nigel, 2017 for Cal, and Chris Roman for 2018. Not quite sure about the rest of these. Definitely will probably swap out Ernie Gearson as well. Anyway though, here is Vandon or Vanden out of the package. Not 100% a matte paint car. He definitely is. He definitely is sort of matte. I'm not quite sure. He has uh, a matte texture to him, but it's not as intense as the matte paint on other cars. It's kind of like Kevin Ryvan here. Or it just kind of feels like they did like a dirty overspray. He's got all this great rust detailing all over him. Very realistic looking rust. Kind of goes away if you look at it in the light, which is pretty cool. Let's see some on the front, on the hood. And all over him. He's got a big grin. He's looking off to the side. I'm not usually the biggest fan of cars who look off to the side. Just because it kind of limits the expressions you could give them. But considering he was on the other side of Bill Revs and Bill was right over here, it makes sense, even though Bill Revs isn't looking to his side. Speaking of sides, here's Vanden's side, where you can see even more of this nice rust detailing going down. Almost, almost looks dusty. Once again, very good, realistic dust detailing. He's got a whole blue patch on the back. Either it was replaced or it's the only surviving part of his uh, original paintwork. I'd assume it was a replaced piece since it definitely looks like it. Interesting. This guy's definitely had some history. He's rusting a whole ton. He's got a replaced blue part on either side, actually. That's interesting. I didn't notice that. So I wonder what happened to this guy. His backlights look really good and really detailed, which is nice. His license plate reads B12 188. Hard to tell right there. And on the other side, you just have all the same detailing. And there's the base. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye now.